The final race of day one is the King George VI Chase. It's a grade one, of course, from Kempton. And at the top, we've got Crackled Relics, Cherry, Q Card, David Hooley, Dawn of the Warrior, Joshua Sutherland, Flintoff winning, James Shea, Harlem Montsio, David Robertson, Insatiable Forest, Craig Allen, Ozark Rival, Vinnie Gerard, Time to Shine, Craig Allen, Twisted Road, Leon Van Rensburg, Womble. He's a newcomer for Kevin Minahan, Belmore Stone, Graham Clisbolt, Bridge Cape, Darren Thompson, Dunitz is a newcomer for Stu Gray, Fern Brook for John Morgan, who's also got a newcomer in Green Hill Ramble. Uh, interim Mount for David Robertson lost on the way Joshua Sullivan Magic Spell Craig Beckwith Maximum Mayhem a newcomer for Alex Cherry Nashville Spicebird for Vinnie Gerard and Stone of Legends for Leon Van Rensburg a massive figure of 21 for the King George then uh, this should be a bit of a spectacle as they race away a very short run towards the first and over it they all go they're all safely over the first and it's Fernbrook in the lead it's the John Morgan and Gray that's going to take them along in the King George and Dunit just about a second as they get to the first ditch and all over that one nicely as well with Belmore Stone right over on the far side and they take moving up to try and claim a share of the lead and they sort themselves out then down they're racing down towards the next fence Fernbrook the grey is in front from Belmore Stone in second 19 fences are taking all they've already taken two of them and this next one will be the third and Fernbrook on the inside of Belmore Stone these two are five lengths clear of Crackle on the inside of Flintoff winning and lost on the way Nashville Spice Bird is also up there as they get to the third and also if you have that one looking towards the back of the field Highland Montsier the David Robertson Grey is just a back mark we've got three or four greys in this one as they get over the fourth and Belmore Stone has now gone on and taken it up from Fernbrook those two though Still four clear. I've crackled in third. And then lost on the way and flint off winning. The Joshua Sutherland pair of both. The one on the outside lost on the way. And Dawn of the Warriors, they take over that one. And all safely over the first five fences. With Belmore Stone on the outside of Fernbrook. Big gap of five lengths then back to the rest of them. are just about headed by Crackled as they get over number six. Slow jumps at the back for time to shine and twisted road. Those two will be doing their best work at the end of the race, you can be pretty sure about that. And it's Belmore Stone and Fernbrook. John Morgan's got two greys in this one. And Fernbrook, the first thing, is just about in front from Belmore Stone, and it's outside second. And they get back to Crackle and Flint's off winning and then lost on the way. And Dawn of the Warrior, then Denitz. Then comes Greenhill Ramblers, the second John Morgan Gray, the Vinnie Gerard pair together. After that, as they skip over the next, with Stone of Legends for Leon Van Rensburg in the blue with the yellow cap, creeping closer on the inside right as they come to take the fence. It'll be the second last next time round, and over that one they go. Another mistake at the back by Twisted Road, and Womble's gone. So Womble out of it then as they take the oh, and he's gone. Belmore Stones crashed out of it as well. The horse who was disputing the lead is gone. So, plenty of drama in front of the stand at Kempton Park on Boxing Day then as Fernbrook is clearing the lead then with a circuit to go from Lost on the Way in second, Dawn of the Warriors is third, Crackled is fourth, Flint's off winning an Ozark rival then Dunitz and then Nashville Spiceburn and Green Hill Ramblers then Stone of Legends and Insatiable Forest, Q Card is in mid-division then in Highland Montsia is getting a little bit closer, Time to Shine's also moving his way through the pack as they get over the water then Bridge Cape interim mount, Maxim Mayhem, Twisted Road and Magic Spell we've lost just the two Womble and Belmore Stone, so Fernbrook over this one in the lead, mistake by the horse in second, lost on the way, magic spells gone at the back, so three gone now then, as the second of the John Morgan Grey starts to move forward as they get over that ditch, and there's another one gone, another two gone there, Twisted Road and Insatiable Forest have both gone, so plenty of casualties in this one then, as they race down towards the next, it's Fernbrook, who's in the lead from Flintoff winning in second, Lost on the way is third, they're queuing up behind us, about seven of them in a line, sharing third place, then after that one comes Donitz, Ozark rival is also trying to get into it, time to shine, and Q card, and nicely placed, but they've got plenty of horses to get, 
Mayhem by looking towards the back. Maximum Mayhem is a back marker, but he's no more than a dozen lengths off the lead. It's Fernbrook who continues to be that leader with less than a mile to go. Over the 13th they go. They all got over that one. It's Fernbrook in the lead from Lost on the Way in second. Greenhill Ramblers is third. Stone of Legends crackled. Dawn of the Warrior. Plenty in with chances over the 14th they go. And over that one, a bit of a slow jump by Ozark Rival. Has seen that one drop towards the back, but it's still Fernbrook in the lead. Fernbrook's in front by two lengths. Two lost on the way in second. Stone of Legends is third. Highland Montsia has come through from the back and is now in a good position. Dawn of the Warriors next. Over this ditch they go. Over it they go. They're all safely over that one. And now Stone of Legends has come through to challenge the leader. Fer Fernbrook on the inside. Stone of Legends on the outside. Between the two of them lost on the way. They've still got four more fences to take. Over the fourth last they go. And now Stone of Legends has taken it up. It's Stone of Legends who's suddenly got a length clear. Fernbrook is trying to fight back. Then comes Lost on the way and Highland Montsiao. Dawn of the Warrior is next. Time to shine. Has got the inside. Bird's going to need a little bit of luck coming through. So too is Q card. We're wide on the outside. Greenhill Ramblers is trying to get into it. So too is Bridged Cape. But it's, stain it's Stone of Legends who's three clear with three to jump. Stone of Legends, three clear then of Highland Montsiao and Clue Q card has now got a clear run. He's challenging for second over the third lap. They go. Stone of Legends runs in front from Q card and Highland Montsiao. But the leader's got a five length lead on the rest of them. Coming down towards the final couple of fences in now. Stone of Legends pops over the second last. He's clear of Highland Montsiao in second. Lost on the way. He's trying to run on. So is Flint's off winning. Time to shine up. Nowhere to go. Over the final fence they go. And Stone of Legends is clear. Now time to shine. He's trying to try to run on. But he's left it too late and it's Stone of Legends who's well clear and he's going to take it Stone of Legends is going to win it on and Montsia just hanging on for second from the fast finishing time to show and then lost on the way and Dawn of the Warrior and all the way back to Maximum Mayhem and one or two surprising characters in that race but it still saw the expected names at the top and Stone of Legends takes it for Leon van Rensburg a good four or five length winner from in second place, Harlem Monty out for David Robertson. Time to shine for Craig Allen was third. Lost on the way, Joshua Sullivan fourth. And crackled for Alex Cherry was fifth.